All right, if you're watching this video right when it comes out, the Copper Compression Burster, that's a mouthful, is in the shop right now, and this is basically the second Boombo to be added to the game. Obviously, there's a weapon actually called a Boombo, and it's exactly what you think. It's a bow that explodes on stuff, but the Compression Burster is a little bit different. The only thing different between this and the Boombo are its actual stats and the fact that instead of an actual explosion, it has more of like a puff of air, if you will, that basically does the exact same thing. The best perks on the Compression Burster are one of two different directions that you can go. If you're using Sub-Zero Zenith, which also came to the shop today, to stun your enemies and freeze them in place, then you're going to want double crit rating because he affects crit rating. Uh, but if you're going to be using a Zenith loadout, then a slow firing Boombo type weapon is the wrong thing to use. These weapons tend to be extremely low damage and slow fire rate and ultimately just not very good in general. But if you really want to make it work, I think the best overall way to go would be a nice little hybrid set, which is definitely reload speed, double damage, and then of course damage to slow and snare to activate that sixth perk. A lot of people will disagree with me saying you need to go double crit rating and double crit damage or something along those lines, but I feel like that's just, you don't really want to run crit rating, crit damage on weapons that fire as slow as this weapon, because while it could be argued that this weapon does so little damage that the damage perks aren't going to matter and the only time it's useful is when you crit, I, I would say that if it's only useful when you crit, it's still begs the argument that it's kind of just uh, not that great of a weapon but like I said if you're absolutely trying to make it work then I think overall damage is more consistent but if you do like a crit rating crit damage loadout then you might have a technical like overall higher damage per second which isn't exactly the most relevant thing with a slow firing weapon like this I'll let you guys make up your own minds and leave you to your own devices my truthful opinion if I were to use this myself would be to just have it reload double damage and then have a damage to slow and snared. Obviously, I know plenty of you are going to want uh, crit rating and crit damage, which might be the best way to go, but I simply can't put my stamp of approval on that kind of thing. And you can obviously decide for yourself when you perk this thing up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Have a good day.